<laughs> All right, 2013 Ford Focus. Going to do a radiator. It's a 2.0. First off, you want to do is before you get started on it, is you want to discharge your AC system, have it uh, taken to a shop and have them recover it, or do it however means you know how to do it because you're going to take the radiator and the AC condenser out together as a unit, okay? And you're gonna be disconnecting these lines over here in a minute. But right now you need to do is remove your battery cover, which looks like, which looks like a this baby right here. Remove that, it slips up there. And you wanna remove your uh, upper air filter housing. It's got uh, four eight millimeter screws holding them in there. One, two, three, four. Remove this. Try it aside, then you can pull your air filter out. It goes inside here. Pull that out, because most likely you want to replace it since you're in there. Okay. Then you get yourself a seven millimeter socket and loosen up your air tube clamp right here, which is a seven millimeter. You want to unplug your mass airflow sensor, remove your red lock, and press in on the tab, pull it up, and then pull it out of the, the little retainer here, needle nose. Then you come over here, and there's a little flap. Pull this up, attack, attack, attaches onto that, and it goes through here, this tab. And it's got two fasteners. It's got one here and one there. It goes into a grommet. You need to pull them up, push your hose off of there. I always put a little bit of spray of lubricant in there. Work it in there and the hose comes right up easily. So now you've got the whole thing loose. Now you can dump it out and get all the dirt out of it. Okay. Then you need to come over here, come down to the uh, fan shroud and the cooling fan module is right here. There's a wire harness going to it with a connector, nice big connector. I gotta find it, what'd I do with it? And uh, you need to unplug it. Also, you need to remove the retainer. It clips into it also with your long door panel clip tool. And here it is, you need to wiggle it up and blow some air on it and blow dirt out of it. And the, the retainer clip is on the back side of it facing the radiator and it's right there okay i didn't have a lock in mind but it looks like there was possibly one in it that's broke off so you need to just it goes in there like that squeeze it and pull it off okay now that we got that done <clears throat> okay so you're gonna take the fan shroud the fan off when you got it up in the air then you need to come over here and you can undo your lines for your condenser let me look in there and see what we got okay one nut there and one nut here i got to both of them with a long extension with a 13 deep removing my nuts and be careful when you pull them lines off there might be a bit might be a little bit of residual pressure in there, so you don't want it blowing in your face. So you want to wiggle them and pull them up. And be careful not to lose your O-rings. Okay, I got my lines off. And uh, you got an O-ring here. Plus they got like a yellow O-ring on the top down there. Okay, you can see them on top. So be careful. And I just bunch of corded mine off to the side to keep them from dropping down in the way and getting stuck on it when I pull it apart down below. Hopefully that is it on top. Now we can raise it up and work on everything from down below. Well, I spoke too soon. I need to remove my uh, hose over here and plus my other uh, kind of like bleeder line to the reservoir. So, but I want to remove this thing right here. It's got it held in with a 10 millimeter bolt. 
I just lost it because I wiggled it around, but it goes right here. I took it out and I left it on there and I wiggled it and I lost it. So this just comes straight up like that. Get that out of the way. Make sure my bolt didn't fall down in there. Did not. Put that aside. Then you need to undo your radiator hose over here off to the side. It's got a spring clamp on it. Okay. And then also, it's got that plastic line that goes to the reservoir. It clips into the radiator. Right down here. Right here. And those, you just squeeze a little two taps together and you twist the line and you pull it. But it ain't working too good. Hmm. It's got those little clips on it. They just don't look good at all. I don't like it. Okay, so I'll have to pull them off. Open them up and pull them off. They got little clips on them. I'll show you what they look like when I'm talking about. Right here. That's where the line goes. So you'd like to squeeze these together, but I mean, what are you squeezing, you know? I'm gonna open it up. Close to squeeze it and it pushes against these, but ain't happening. So what I'll do is I'll get a little screwdriver and I'll open them up and then I'll, then I'll pry it off of there and we go back and forth. What I might do is spray some penetrant down there on it to help soak into the to the O-ring on there and then I can remove it, okay? And don't forget about removing your radiator hose, spring clamp, and also pulling the hose off. And you're probably gonna lose some fluid right there because right down below is the drain, the red thing there. You put a flat blade screwdriver in there and turn it and loosen it up. And you can drain the fluid that way, or you can get a pair of pliers down there and turn it also. Okay. Well, I pulled it out. I got it. But I didn't drain my fluid yet. So, but that's what it looks like. What happens when you don't drain your fluid. All right. So I'm going to go down below and see if I can open that that cock up and drain it out that way okay if you uh would have opened up your pet cock the first time and drained it wouldn't have this mess but me i'm always in such a hurry to do everything and but anyway i got my lower hose off that's off of there got my tool on here you can leave your tool on there do the other one if you got two tools i got two tools you can just leave it on there and do the other one when you're going back together but i'm gonna leave it on there i'll use my other one for my other one okay so now we are done on top pretty much that i can tell you all right so now i'm gonna raise it up all right, you want to remove this front underbalance panel. It's all that was from retainers, plastic retainers around the front. And on the back side, it's got a couple T30 Torxes to remove those. You got two, uh, four, six, eight. Mine don't have that many because they're missing. Okay. All right, what you want to do is you want to remove your fan shroud. There's the fan shroud. And right here, below the little radar hose, you got this piece. And there's a little piece right here you got to push in. Right here, right there. You got to push in on that piece. And then you can push the shroud up. You got to do that on both sides. Okay, it looks like that. Right here. This part right there on that one. And it's got up on top, there's a piece that hangs down like that and goes into a slot. Just the same as this one, except for a clip. Okay? Anything on this side, you gotta push in on that little clip. Then you can push this fan shroud up. 
Then when you get both clips pushed up, fence rod up, you gotta pull this fence rod out towards you so then get past this section of it right here, okay? Okay, here it is, all right? You can get this driver's side off, no problem. And the passenger side, you can't push the, sh the shroud out away from the radiator to get it unclipped on, on top. So I did the driver's side and I'm pulling the driver's side down first, okay? And then I pull it out like that, okay? And this is what I talk about pushing in. Gotta push in on those, okay? Comes right out. All right, on the driver's side, on this core support, you got two electrical connectors. Need to unclip it from the core support and then unplug them. There's no locks in them. And then also that little one comes, wraps around, it fastens on the inside also. Need to undo that one. Pull this out, okay? And you notice up there is two bolts, okay? You got two bolts there, that was a 10 millimeter. And on the passenger side, you got two bolts also. So I'm gonna use as a strap and put it in that ear on the side of the motor. Snug it up a little bit so I can take those two bolts out. Four bolts, I mean, two on each side. Okay. And passenger side. So, also, once you get this support out, what you do is you'll lower it down best you can, undo your strap a little bit, hold the radiator up, and drop out your uh, support, and then put your strap, your, your strap back up in there to hold the radiator, because now there's a shroud that wraps around the front of this with those doors in it. Duh and uh, bifold doors, okay? And these are held in with, just like the cooling fan shroud. Got little clips you gotta push in and then you can push it up. But we'll work on that after we get this bracket out of here. All right, loosen up your strap a little bit. Come over here off to the side, separate your support from your radiator. Same thing on this one. And now this support is loose. Now what you wanna do is fish that support out of there. Okay, what I did was I turned my support over. So now I can just pull it out and nice and easy. Okay, before I lowered my strap all the way loose, I undid this front balance from these little clips that go into the uh, your, your blinds, I guess, shutters, okay? So now it's hanging down over here because on the other, on the passenger side, it's held up there with the uh, hose, the other radiator hose. So what I did was I opened, opened up my petcock back up, finished draining my radiator. So now I can tighten that up, go over there that side, remove my hose. It's gonna hold a little bit of fluid in there because of the, because of the angle that it's in, and you can undo that. And then this whole front shroud should come down with the, the radiator and the condenser. I don't know what they call it. It's got the little clip in here, you gotta unclip it, and you can push it forward. Okay, see the clip right here? And then you have to do the same thing to the other side. So grab hold of both pieces and flip it over. That's how you unclip it from the condenser. She got these clips that clip into here, the little, they clip into right here and right there. Okay, and this goes in the hole, okay? Now what we need to do is line that up. Flip it over. And do the other side. And on the driver's side, you had a clip right here. Pry it off of there, and you can bring the condenser out that way, and then untake it out of the slot, okay? So 
so the denser don't look too bad. Radiator's trash though. Get your new radiator, lay it down on a cart. If you got a cart, just so it's up off the ground so the plastic's not hitting the floor, okay? And then get your condenser up there, line it up into this slot, and then you can clip that in. Go over here to this side, which would be the passenger side. Make sure the uh, condenser's in this section here, just flips in there. And then here on the top, you got that tit that's in the plastic, it needs to go in that hole. And then these two clips clipped in. What I used was a pair of uh, vice channel locks, squeezed it together, and it clipped in. I didn't remove my foam off of my uh, condenser, just lifted it off the radiator a little bit, okay? And now I can put my shutter doors on. Make sure you got the bottom on the bottom, okay? Wire harness, this is the bottom. And this is the top. Okay, line up your shutters, shutters into there. See, that one goes into there, and then this is gonna clip into that. You gotta hold it up a little bit and push them in. Same thing on the uh, other side. Line that up into there. Pick this up, allow that to clip into there. Okay, that's flush. That's flush. And it clip, got the plastic here and this shutter shroud goes into there, clips right in. Same thing on the other side. Flush, clips right in. Okay. Remember this is the bottom. This is the bottom. So now you can put the whole radiator up in there and the whole assembly. Make sure you line these up into the holes on top. <clears throat> right there, dead center. And dead center. If they're not there, they're on the old radiator. Okay? And also you want to do is put your grommets in the bottom of your radiator ahead of time. And the passenger side grommet is egg-shaped, oblong. I couldn't tell you if it went in this way mm -hmm. or that way. You can always switch it when I get it up in there, okay? This one's just round. So stick it up in there. If you're using a strap, get it up in there and tighten your strap. You can always take the strap out later. All right, my radiator and assembly is in. I got them in the top. Tightened up my strap, so there it is. Okay, and now I can put my brace up in there, get them started, get one side started at least, and then I can work my strap out. All right, I got the core support up there with one bolt on each side to start it with a couple threads. This bushing here for the radiator that uh, was. The oblong part was towards the front. So now, got everything matched up. So now I can undo my strap and then I can fish my strap from underneath it. And then I can put my other two screws in there, slowly tighten them up and guide my uh, bushings into the support. And also then you can do your lower radiator hose over here. All right, I just want to remind you, make sure that your radiator is in the top bushings on both sides. And when you tighten this core support all the way up, make sure your bushings for your lower radiator supports are in all the way, okay? Get a little screwdriver and work them in. Get your wire harness back around here, come back out, plug it in, push it into the shroud. Same thing with this upper top one here. Make sure those are all connected and pushed in. Make sure your lower air hose is on, okay? Make sure these are pushed in to the little notches that are sticking out, okay? So that's it. So now you can put this lower 
front piece on. Okay, I got them all pushed in. Put new ones in. Snug up my uh, screws. And then you're done underneath. All right. Don't forget about your thinking fan. Push it up in there and then get your, got it all the way up in there. Line up your little notch. See it? Oop. Almost fell in, it fell in up on top. This is almost all the way in. Go to the pasture side, make sure it's into the notch on the top. Which it's not. So you gotta lift it up. Lift it up. Ah. Lift it straight up. Remember you gotta get it off the ah fell into the clip down below. Okay now. Get it on top. That's in top. Push it in. Verify it's in top. Nope. Nah, this side came out. And this ah. Go ahead and push it up there. Get it in there. Come on, baby. Oh, I can't get it up high enough. Oh, there. I'm gonna take two hands. So hold on. Okay, I got them. All right, push them in so they clipped in. All right. Okay, now we can lower it down. Huh. Okay, you're over here on the driver's side. What you want to do is you want to plug in your module, push it into the shroud, the little retainer, put your low radiator hose on, put your clamp, make sure it's all the way pushed in. Make sure you get that uh, little hose, make sure that's pushed into your radiator, and make sure it clips in. Make sure both sides are clipped in on that. Okay, and give it a little tug back and forth, see if you can pull it out. If you do not have this, the radiator comes with a plug and you put a, put a clamp on it, okay? Okay, so now that you got that done, you can put your air box in. Remember? Put a little bit of lube on your grommets. Make sure it all fits in there properly, nicely. Over here, this one was a guide. Guide that in there. Push those down. Hold your... Your intake tube up out of the way. So you put these down inside there. Put that little thing inside here. That sticks through there. And you can put this back on there so it looks like that. All right. Tighten up your clamp. Remember that thing goes there. Put that in there. Push this back on there. If you want, I'm gonna put your lock back in. So, I don't like the way they always work. They never work. Just make sure it's not pulling off. Good enough for me. And put your new air cleaner in there. And then put your top piece back on and snug up your eight millimeter screws. Okay, filters in. Make sure it's in all the way. Make sure it's in the groove because this has got a little lip on it. Make sure it gets in the groove, goes all the way around it. Okay. And get your top. It's got a groove, but it's on the inside of it. So it's kind of impossible to screw that one up. Okay. So get it all in there. Make sure it all fits down nicely. Make sure it isn't binding. If it's binding, then it's not on properly. Okay. I can snug them all up. All right, get your air filter assembly together. <laughs> That's nice, huh? And then battery cover, come over to your AC lines, put some uh, Freon oil on your O-rings, place them down on there, push them all the way down in there so make sure they're inside of it, not sitting on top. Get your nuts started and then snug them up. Just need to snug them up. Don't need to bear down on them. All they're doing is holding them together, okay? 
After that, then you need to uh, evacuate it, your system for your AC. You know, put a vacuum on it, get all the air out of it that got in there when we, when we had it apart. And you need to recharge it, okay? If you don't have the sticker, charge is 21 ounces, okay? One and a half uh, 21 ounces, so 16, yeah, 16 and 8 is 24, so it's not even one and a half pounds, so 21 ounces, okay? So if you got using the cans, which are 12, two cans, good, okay? And then make sure you uh, put some cooling in it, let it run, you know, you can do this when you're charging it. You know, put antifreeze in it and let it run. Make sure it gets up to one operating temperature. Make sure the thermostat's opening and make sure your coolant level is where it should be. It says max and minimum. Put it right here. It's the max when it's hot. Shut it off, let it cool down. Double check the level, top it off if needed. And start it and drive it around and make sure it's got heat and the AC works, okay? And that will be it. Hopefully I helped you out with this video. It's a little tough because mine fell out on me. I didn't want that to happen. Okay, good luck.